Welcome to Gemstone Education at Clean Green Gems. Today we're going to look at three red plain gemstones. Um, they're three uh, rubies actually, but uh, with great differences. So we'll start on the first and if you can follow me through, you'll understand some of the complexities. The first one we're going to deal with, oh, so we'll go to our larger screens plain colour gems and select plain colour gems and wait for the program. There it is. Now let's look at um, red and we'll select red and go next. So we've had, we can have a red diamond, very very rare, red ruby spinel, rubellite which is a tourmaline, specitite which is a garnet and then rhodolite garnet, two types of um, garnets. Okay, now unusual tools are the flashlight, a ruler, and a glass, maybe fine glass. This is the first ruby we're going to um, discuss is an oval ruby, it was an oval ruby, and it was irregular down here. Now normally irregular, uh, irregular rubies or any irregular gem is, is often irregular because it's used to maximise the carrot size when it's cut so a larger carrot's more expensive but of course you lose sometimes in the ability of the, the gem to, um, to flash. Okay, we'll go, I mean, this one was ideal cut. Um, in millimetres it was 8 by 7. And it had no windows, very little. It, um, it was a loose gem and you could see through it, was it cloudy? No it wasn't. It was very clean actually, very clear all layer. Rather um, irregular as I said. Now, does it, didn't, did it have any actual defects? No it didn't. I'm moving through this fairly rapidly so we can get to the crux of the matter. Clouds, feathers, none. Um, dark spots, needles, none. Couldn't see any. Next. So, there was it, was it like this, which is a zircon or a other double reflective jam stones? No, it wasn't. Let's go back and make sure we put that in. Uh, here. Single. There we go. Next. Is there a colour change? No, there wasn't. Find the torch on it. None. Just a little brighter. There's no colour change. We've still got diamonds, rubies, spinels for the same. The same. So to test it next week, take it out in the sunlight again and see if it has any snake bites or pears. And we find that it actually has some very tiny little ones, fairly close together but definite. Like similar to this tourmaline here. Or the garnet which doesn't have, so the tourmaline does have, but so therefore the gem has pears which we found that it did have and we'll go next, so we're only, we're only left with the ruby here and next again, dispersion and it has reasonable dispersion, it has pears and reasonable dispersion 
there we are, the ruby, medium dispersion rather than low or mere. If it's low, it's not a ruby. If it's medium, it is. Okay, so we have red, one colour, oval, irregular, ideal, no window, loose gem, very clear, pairs, unmaximum, cannot see any ruby. So we'll find out how what the carrot size is after we select it. And the carrot size is 2.1 carats. And its estimated value is just over $7,000. Um, that was about three years, three or four years ago. Um, I bought it for considerably less, but I sold, I sold it to a customer in Belgium, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, and that, because it was a regular, uh, irregular shape, I was convinced and I, and I took it to a, an advanced um, certification company just to make sure that it wasn't. It was a true and a true ruby that hadn't been affected by any other processes. Let's just look at that. If we go and look at um, plain colour gems and select ruby here, we will find that um, in the market there are many rubies. 10% are artificial, 88% are heat treated and filled, 2% are real, and a few of the, and few of them are clean. And a few of the cleaner cuts so they create um, fire rather than size. Rarely an example above 1.5 carats. Now this particular collector I sold to only collected rubies above two carats. Now that particular ruby I think would be worth at least double what um, what I estimated it in our cost because um, rubies above one carat are very one carat are very rare as is as are diamonds and particularly red ones that are that have some fire. Okay, now we will um, close this one and go to our second ruby.